Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here and if you're new here, hello, my name is Leanne and I hope that you like me enough to want to stick around, but you can wait till the end to decide. So this is my part three of my Mask Avenger series where I test masks, tests, <laughs> test masks all the time, which I really, really do. And then I come back and instead of doing them one at a time, I come back and give the breakdown to you in a group of like 10 or so and tell you what I think of them, whether they worked or whether you should not spend your money on them. So I have quite a variety of masks going on here. Some are clay masks, some are sheet masks, etc., etc. First one I want to talk about I got at Ulta. Ulta always has their masks on sale, which is when I like to scoop them all up because it can get expensive after a while. And this is the Smart Skincare Solutions Skin Energizing Bubbling Sheet Mask. It says revitalizing oxygen mask and this one is the paper mask that when you put it on this one's white though and then it bubbles up and you know you look all fluffy and and stuff like that and you don't have to wear it too too long which is good and I don't know if the oxygen any really does anything for you but I can say that it does have good ingredients and I kind of liked the way my skin felt after I used it. I like a mask to make my fit skin feel not dry, but soft and either ready to put makeup on or ready to add my skincare and serums and things like that. So uh, this one is not that expensive and um, I would recommend this one. This is from I Do Care. Now it comes in a box, I believe, of five and it is not inexpensive, but of course I got it on sale. And by the way, tell me if I have lipstick on my teeth because the possibility is very high, by the way. This is a two-step mask process. This is the double down two-step mask. <laughs> I Do Care does have some very, very good masks and I do enjoy them. The first step that you use is like a vitamin C peel, but it's a cellulose type of pad. And the cool thing about this is as you rub it on your face, you could, the cellulose starts to break down into these little tiny balls that form on your face. It can get a little bit messy, <laughs> but the cellulose and the exfol it does exfoliate and I do like the way that it feels and it put down that first layer of vitamin C. The second part is the uh, 20 minute mask that you put on after the fact and you leave it on there and it can do some good things for your skin. Now I can tell you again this does have good for you ingredients. It also has castor oil which I found interesting. I don't find that so high up and this is, it is high up in many of the masks. Castor oil is good for a lot of things. It's supposed to possibly regrow your hair but it also is anti-inflammatory, can be acne reducing and soothing, and it can also be anti-fungal. So I think it's pretty interesting that they do have that in there, but I liked them. And even though they're expensive, I'll wait till they go on sale, but I would buy them again. This is the Yes to Carrots mask. Again, it is a paper mask that you put on. Again, this one has good ingredients. Now, the only problem with face masks having the good ingredients is, yes, it's great and it will moisturize your skin, but you really have to be consistent, just like with the skincare, for the ingredients to really, really have beneficial effects. And I do mask almost every night, at least five nights a week, if not more. And so even though I'm mixing them up, I'm still getting those good ingredients on my skin. But if you use them every once in a while, it may brighten up your face temporarily and things like that. The peels, on the other hand, that you have to use, those I only recommend once a week or uh, less sometimes. But you really have to be consistent with your, skin, your masks if you want the benefits of the ingredients. But this one has uh, betaine in it, it has the carrots, it has um, fruit acids and things like that, and I really enjoyed using this one. This is the Creme Shop mask. You can always get these in TJ Maxx. They always have an abundance of Creme Shop masks. You can also get them in Ulta as well. I'm not sure of the other locations. This is the eye mask, and as you can see, it is that lacy type that goes itch <laughs> not just underneath your eyes but all around your eyes now this one was very very large I did have to cut of course the inner corners to fit properly underneath my eyes so it was getting the benefits 
I can tell you that it is super, super wet. And I found as I was wearing it that it was dripping down my face and my neck. So I kept having to like, you know, wipe it off. It is one that you do rub in the ingredients so that, I mean, if you don't like that really, really messy type mask, this probably wouldn't be for you. And you would probably do better with just the jelly under, you know, under eye masks. But this does have caffeine in it and it does smell like coffee which makes it extremely pleasant to use. I think it did just as decent a job as all of my other under eye masks that I enjoy using. So aside from the messiness of it, I'll probably buy it again. These are the Skin Iceland Blemish Dots. Now, there are a lot of these around. Patchology has them. There's another company, it's like the peace sign. I, I can see the image in my head, but I can't remember it. If you remember, please list it below. These dots are pretty good, and these, I think, did a better job than some other lesser priced ones that I have tried. I don't break out too often anymore since I've been using my retinol and I'm on my skin routine. Yes, I'm going to get an occasional blemish, but not the heavy duty ones that I have gotten in the past. I like these because I slap them on at night. They do adhere well. I do clean around the area if I'm using other skincare before I slap them on so it does adhere better, but it doesn't make the pimple go completely away, but it certainly does reduce the redness and the inflammation that is going on because it's sealing in uh, the ingredients that are on here like the salicylic acid etc and you know they're quick convenient yes you kind of and they're clear so you don't kind of look like a dimation you just look like a dimation with clear spots on your face now I'm gonna throw this one in here and this is from Timi it is the green tea uh, detox mask now this one was sent to me for review from Timi. They had reached out to me and asked whether I wanted to try their teas or some of their skincare. I don't believe in that whole detox tea thing. I'm very cautious about those things, but I said, yeah. Uh, and I explained that you can send it to me, but I'm going to be brutally honest. I do not lie. I don't care if you sent it to me or not. They're not paying me for it. It's not sponsored. They just sent it to me and requested that I do a review on it. So I agreed to that. It is not very, very expensive. And yes, they did give me a coupon code, which I will list down below, if you guys want to try it. The coupon code for 15% does give me a 10% commission. So I'm not telling you to use it. If you don't feel comfortable using it, please do not. But I'm being upfront and honest that that coupon code down below isn't just for you to say 15%. It does earn me a commission. I'm always going to say that. And I gave this a really good shot. I told her, you know, she asked for a review in one week. I said, no. I said, I need to use it. And they recommend that you can use it up to four times a week. I said, I need to use it for a while and get my real thoughts on it and investigate. And I even reached out to her to ask about the ingredients and how they were sourced and things like that. And she answered all of my questions. I said, when I get my review up, you know, once I've used it and how I feel, positive or negative, that's what I'm going to post it. I can tell you something, I actually like it. And I said it's not because it was sent to me for free, and it's not because I have a coupon code. I actually like the mask. I do use it about, right now because I'm switching up, I use it about three times a week. It leaves my skin very soft. It leaves my skin brighter. It did not irritate my skin whatsoever. It is a green mask. It dries in approximately, depending upon how thick you put it on, I don't recommend you putting it on too, too thickly. It dries in about 20 minutes and then you rinse it off. I like the way my skin felt after. Now it is 75% organic and I reached out to her and said, why is it 75% organic? And she said, because the Bentolin clay that is also in here, it's not an organic, not an organism. It's not something that can be organic. Hence the fact that it's only 75% organic. And um, I said she was very patient with me. And I have to say, I mean, it's not that much with the 15%. I'm going to use actually my own 15% code to, to save money off of it. But I like it. I'm surprised. This is the first time, second time somebody has reached out to me about something and I didn't like that product so I didn't talk about it and I told them but if I like something you guys know I'm going to say I like it and I like it and when I finish this I'm going to order more. I know I'm shocked too. This one I don't think I used it consistently enough to really 
see if it would work. And this is from Herbal Organics Beauty, and it's the Mango and Green Tea, green tea Firming Under Eye Mask. This is the one that smells like orange sickles. It is an orange color, and I just, I love the smell. I put it on, it goes underneath, and you can feel, I don't want to say a stinging, but you feel something going on underneath your eyes and around. I would leave it on. When I took it off, my eyes were a little, I don't know. They weren't irritated, but I didn't see a major difference when I did take it off. But the funny thing is I researched the ingredients and the ingredients are good. So I'm not sure why I didn't see like an immediate effect like I'll sometimes see with the paper under eye masks. But I don't know if I didn't use it consistently enough. I do maybe want to try it again because this is obviously not the full size jar. I may try it again and then use it specifically as they're saying to use it because of the ingredients that are in it. And I'll let you guys know, but I don't know. I didn't see any major effects from it right now, but I'm gonna keep looking into it. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Jelly Sheet Mask. First of all, it's fun because it's pink and it comes in two parts and it is that jelly type and it does stick well to my face and just the fact that it's in a cute little <laughs> watermelon slice is nice. I do enjoy Glow Recipe products. I have their um, watermelon sleeping mask and the day cream. I do wanna try their avocado. These are su stupidly expensive. This is $8. I got this an, a, as a sample, which is why I'm trying it. $8 for one night's use to me is a lot of money, not what I really want to spend on it. But the ingredients are good. And again, after I took it off, I used this one because it's only a 10 minute mask, which I love. This is great because after you take it off, you rub the rest of your serum into your face, which after 10 minutes, there's not much left on there, but whatever's there left. I like this before my makeup because it gives me a nice, plumped, moisturizing base before I go in with the rest of my skincare and my makeup. But I just, I can't get on board with the price tag. $8, I mean, imagine using this like three times a week. That's, that's ridiculous to me. I just want to get a box of them and spend not that much money on them. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's up to you. If you if you have the ability, I really like it. I don't have the ability to spend $8 like three times a week on my mask. So, come down with your prices, please. These are the Soap and Glory Puffy Eye Attack Under Eye Gel Masks. Um, these are very, very wet when you put them on and not as drippy as the Creme Shop ones. And you have to leave these on for 30 minutes. So these I use for my nighttime masking routine. And I had lipstick on my teeth. I knew it. I don't have 30 minutes in the morning when I'm getting ready to sit with these. But I do like it and after I take it off I do go in with the rest of my um, products and stuff. These are pretty good. I was looking for because I did take some notes so I could speak on things intelligently. Yeah, no, I did cover it. These are the silicone gel type masks, though. I forgot to mention that. I said, and I do like them. And if you buy them in the pack and not just individually, they're not that expensive. And again, you can get these on sale a lot at Ulta, like buy one, get one 50% off. So I like it. Now these I was surprised. These I got in TJ Maxx from Rata, Rata, R-A-T-A -A and Co. And they came in a box, so they don't put the instructions on the back of each individual, but they do put the instructions on the back of the box, which is good. But you have to keep the box. This is the Nourishing Rosehip and Raspberry Oil Sheet Mask. Now, let me look at my notes here. This is a 10 minute mask, and it's very wet. It's a paper mask, and it's very big. <laughs> it covers, I mean, it's, it's big. You kind of have to make it fit and I did of course have to cut the eye holes out which I do with 99% of them but this has really good ingredients it has aloe it has glycerin which is a humectant which is wonderful for your skin and it also has some a lot of fruit acids and almond oil um, almond oils it has a lot of oils and especially as almond oil which is wonderful your, for your skin and that's a particular oil that won't make you break out it's non acneogenic and I was really surprisingly impressed that when I took this off my face, and I think it's because of the rosehip oil, looked brighter and fresher. And I went, hmm, that's interesting. It's just a 10 minute mask and um, 
yeah, I'm hoping I can find these again. They do sell them online through the actual company, but you know, if I can get them at TJ Maxx for like a box for like $5, uh, that's what I want to do. But this one impressed me. The KNC Beauty Lip Mask. Um, this is one that does have the hole in it. And because it has a hole in it, I find it hard to adhere to my lips and actually sit on my lips. It usually like goes like a ring around. So I mean, at least you're getting um, some of the moisture and things like that around. But I can't move around with these. Do you know what I mean? You have to just like lay back and sit with the mask on your face or else it's just gonna flop off everywhere know if these really did much I did see a little bit of my you know moisture in my lips but these are a pain in the took us to use for me so I kind of want to use up what I can and get rid of them unless like I'm severely dehydrated or I have wind chapped lips and then I could see them actually having a really huge benefit but I have so many of my moisturizing lip masks that I go to sleep with like um, what is the name the Laneige and things like that and the Sarah Hap that I don't know if these are absolutely necessary. If you just enjoy laying back with, with these, I think they're decent. The last one, these are very expensive, and I got this actually as a sample. This is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Instant Eye Lift Algae Mask. This has really good ingredients, and again, with one use, it came in a thing like this, and it was nice and sealed with all of the, um, you know, they're, they're wet and they go on underneath. They have ingredients that are proven to be effective, but it does have the perpendicular like right up front. Again, I didn't see a major thing. I think they depuffed and everything, but again, I can't see using these on a daily basis because of their price tag. So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go out and purchase this. Not when I have so many other ones that I think are much less expensive and do just as good a job. But I just wanted to mention that they do have some good in in few ingredients aside from the propandiol, like right, right up there. But they were good, but just, you know, not one that I'm going to say run out and get. And okay, so that is it for my third edition of my Mask Adventure series. Sorry about my hair, it is still drying. Uh, it takes like four hours to dry on its own, so you know, don't mind that. But I hope you enjoy this. If you've used any of these masks, please let me know below. And if you have any others that you suggest that I try and that you want me to review, hair, please let me know because I would be very, very happy to do that. I love giving you guys my opinions and I love hearing your opinions. So my friends, whatever part of the world you are in, on and around, I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you very soon in my next one. Toodles everybody. Bye.